Hi, Susan here from MOBAs on Monday the 23rd of July. What is it with you guys and robots? Over the last few days, the newsroom has been filled with robot-related stories. Our guess is the 80s and 90s messed up a lot of people's minds. So be it, we're going to do a robot show. Japan is abuzz with Gundam mania. On schedule, the Gundam Crisis opened its doors last week at a Japanese amusement park. Fans of Gundam seem pleased with it and its similarity with the original. In case you don't know, MS Gundam was a very popular cartoon series and there were several Gundam TV programs made in the 80s, but this is the first ever full-bodied MS Gundam model on a scale of 1 to 1, being 18 meters tall. In order to get inside this Gundam, you have a few difficult tasks to complete in the hangar within a constricted time. If you make it, then you board the Gundam itself. This attraction is drawing kids and older kids alike, the MS Gundam models being a serious hobby for many of the 30-somethings after the Gundam boom in the 80s and 90s in Japan. So what robots did you think of collecting in the 80s? Well, from Asian nostalgia to Western sentimentality, some crazy person out there paid $1 million on eBay for a Transformer collection. 101 Autobots, 81 Decepticons, and 92 licensed products to be exact. This includes every single Transformer produced in 1984, 85, 86, most from 87, and even a handful from 1988 and 89 thrown in for good measure. But for the woman who sold this mega election, it is certainly a happy ending, as she had bought them for her husband, now deceased, during the time he was sick in the 80s. But do you know how many mums and dads are out there hearing this story, going, why on earth did I throw out that Transformer collection, the one that was gathering dust up there in the attic? Although I do know you die-hard Transformer fans would never have your Transformers gathering dust anywhere. Uh, my advice is that if you ever want to be a true collector, you don't even take the toys out of the boxes. You want to keep them there because that way you keep them in mint condition and yeah. This is for those of you who are obsessed by matchboxes or else you just have a collection lying around, taking up space, forget about the millions you could make and just want to have some fun. This guy has taken a matchbox car, some SD's A10PT model rockets and 32 gauge wire. He's wired the rocket to the matchbox, cut a few grooves in the bottom and attached a straw with glue. Equipped with his race controller for igniting the rockets, he then ran a 100 foot piece of string through the straw. Et voila, here is the rocket powered matchbox in action. Two, three. Pretty cool, eh? Let's take a look at that again. Talking about taking off, a life-size robotic fly has taken flight at Harvard. Weighing just 60 milligrams and with a wingspan of 3 centimeters, this tiny robot's movements are modeled on those of a real fly. A lot of work remains to be done on the mechanical insect, but it could be very useful in the future. Here you can get a closer look at the robotic fly's wing in motion. This robot could be very useful in the future for detecting harmful chemicals or even as a spy. So be careful if you see any of those things hovering around your bedroom at night. A rather larger robot has been brought out by Taser International in a collaborative effort with iRobot. They added the X26 power to a robot so that it can go into risky situations. The idea is that it can act as a barricade to stop somebody without putting police officers in danger. And just in case you don't already know, the X26, when fired, puts a whopping 26 watts of T-wave producing power that completely jams a person's central nervous system so that they can no longer move and are no longer a threat. Take a look. Thanks Timber A for drawing our attention to that one. Greetings, Professor Falcon. Hello, Joshua. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. And here's another mind that's been trapped in nostalgia for the last two decades. Dr. Jonathan Schaefer has apparently spent 18 and a half years going through some 500 billion billion checkers positions. Now that's a five followed by 20 zeros, all to create an invincible computer game called Chinook that can be played to draw, but you can't beat it. He should have just asked Joshua. Ever wanted a car without a door? Or at least one that you didn't have to push open? Take a look at this Lincoln that is according to someone on YouTube on sale on eBay. One thing though, what if the battery doesn't work? Or if there's a mechanical problem? How do you get out? And aren't those four down cars a little notorious for catching fire? Yeah, you might want to be careful if you buy that one. 
we're going to leave you today with a real Transformer video. I hope you've got all this Transformer mania out of your systems now so we can get back to some more news tomorrow. See you then. そして、ロボットのモードに切り替わります。今からですね、高速走り回し、ここを降りてします。これはあの、自動の場所の状態での動向です。無事、え、動画が行きましたので、